Well, India's biggest weapon at the online Nations Cup is definitely Koneru Hampi. In the women's section, she's extremely strong and she beat Anna Zatonsky in round number one to level the scores 2-2 for India. In round number two, she was completely dominating her match against Maria Muzichuk and we joined the game at this point where it's very, very interesting to note uh, White's move. If you were White here, what would you play? So Humpy began with Queen F5, which is a brilliant move. Uh, first of all, you are threatening Knight F6, Bishop F6, Queen H7, Mate, very simply. And the second threat is just to take on E5. Uh, and if uh, Black were to take on E4, then after uh, Queen E4, now threatening the bishop and also a mate. So there is only one move that is rook e8. But queen h7, king f8 and rook e1 is just winning. Next comes f4 and then queen h8 with a mate. So rook e8 by Muzichuk was a good move. Knight into f6, queen into f6, check king f8. And now I, I leave it up to you to find out how to win this position. Actually, there are several ways to win uh, here, but try to find the most accurate way to win. Okay. The right move is bishop to b5. And you, you ask the question to this rook as to where do you want to go? If it goes to e7, queen h8 is a mate. So must go to d8, which looks like a logical move. But now comes the move f4. And I really like this move uh, because you're pushing the bishop away. And after takes, takes, queen takes, you make the move rook e1. And this is typical attacking motif. You cut the king off and you mate him. So f5 looks logical. And now how do you finish him off as white? Right, you go for the move d6 and the plan is to play queen h8, man bishop c4 or straight away bishop c4, also rook e7 is coming up. It's just finishing him off. So after queen d6, bishop c4 and now queen g8 is unstoppable. You have to give your queen which is simply lost. So bishop b5 in my opinion was a nice move, removing the rook away from the e-file and then playing f4 and getting your rook to the e5. Uh, but Humpy played f4 straight away and I don't blame her for this. First of all, it's a rapid game. Second of all, the arising position looks completely winning for white. So after takes, takes, queen takes f4, uh, Humpy began to think for quite some time and she played the move queen to h8 check. Now, uh, let's have a look at what happened in the game first. Queen h8, king e7 and now rook e1 check and it turns out that if you go to d6, I'm taking your rook. If you go to d7, then I have bishop b5 check. So Muzichuk went king f6 and Humphrey simply took the rook. She, she thought that her opponent will resign now because she's a piece down but Maria gave a check on c1 suddenly started to humpy started to calculate and she realized oh my god this is not simple first of all king f2 is met with queen e3 check brilliant move was after takes check the the queen on h8 is hanging when actually black wins the game so king h2 is what humpy played in the game but then it was a draw by perpetual unbelievable and this was a big blow to india's chances the question is, why didn't Humpy play the move bishop to f1? Doesn't it simply keep an extra piece? Well, it turns out that after rook e8, queen e8, d3, this pawn is just so strong, d2, d1 is just winning. So, in fact, white is not even able to stop that pawn. So, white goes d6, d2, d7. Now, if you make a queen, there is d8. Queen with a check and then white wins. So black plays. Queen into f1. King f1. Queen 
d1 queen check and now this is a perpetual check there's no way to stop the perpetual if you bring your queen in then the d7 pawn hangs and so uh, it is a draw it's very very difficult to assess this position after d3 that it was actually a draw and so humpy made a wise choice and uh, settled for the perpetual so queen h8 was actually an error on humpy's part she should have begun with the move uh, d6 and that's the right move and a very strong one threatening to checkmate so the only move is queen into d6 now check king e7 and rook to e1 and now you realize why to play d6 so as to just deflect the queen now king d7 loses to bishop b5 check so king f6 and now rook into e8 and uh, you realize that black is unable to get what he wanted before uh, which is the queen cannot go to c1 check because it was deflected with the move d6 so in this position instead of queen h8 humpy had to go d6 and she would have won the game but really in rapid format these are the errors which crop up in a 25 minute game because it's not so easy to assess positions like this one where you are a piece up yet it's a complete drop.